Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm gonna make a quick video on the install of the PDQ ambi bolt release on my Spikes Tactical Lower. It's a AR build that I'm doing. Uh, this actually takes the place of your stock bolt release. This is what the part looks like. So you have a uh, ambi bolt release on both sides. Obviously, that side is the normal paddle, and on this goes on the other side. I already have it taped off. Um, I'm not going to show you all of it because it's going to take a while. I kind of started it to see how fast it would go. Um, it doesn't go that quick with the Dremel, uh, especially with the wheel that they tell you to use, which is the what is it? It's the 425 emery impregnated wheel but uh... I'll go through it you know when I, when I get down to the next step I'll show you what to do next alright this is how you get started take the Dremel and then you're just going to take this section out obviously you're not going to get the whole thing and then you finish it off with the, a file to file everything off I'll show you that once I get there All right, now as you can see, uh, with the wheel, I got down as far as I could and I had to finish it off with uh, a file. Um, now, what I have to do is I have to come over with the sander and take this little nub off and uh, you know, just take a little bit off at a time just so that you can get it to where you want it to go. And then and this is what it looks like installed and obviously you have to take that off or else the level won't go down. Alright, so I'll do that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, now that I got that all cut out, I'm going to just go in between with a piece of 400 grit sandpaper just to clean it up a little bit. drop it in. Now just to test it, uh, I saw this on uh, just take a the barrel stall or any uh, spray can tube. You can actually put it in where the roll pin is going to go. So you can test it out to see if it actually works right. And that's what's that's it's how it functions. I mean, this is this is just a completed up that I have from a different rifle, but just to show you how it would actually work, being you know, you open up, you lift this up, you push that. Obviously, I don't have a buffer tube on, so I got to put pressure on it with my thumb, and just to release it, you would press down, and it would go right back in. I'll show you again. You would lift, lift up on it, hold your bolt open, and to release you just push down and it would slide the bolt forward. So now you have an ambi, instead of using like the bed lever which would you know be in the trigger guard, now you basically just take your finger and push up on it like that. Uh, this isn't the upper I'm going to use, I actually have a Palmetto State blemished upper that I got in the mail the other day uh, I'm going to be using that for the rest of this build for the upper so. alright guys there you go it's the PDQ from Teal Blue Bravo and me bolt release oh and the other thing is too I'm going to wind up door coating this so I'm not really too worried about what in there looks like but basically they say you could take um, what is it? Um, I forgot the stuff they said to use. Oh, there is. It's the uh, 
aluminum black. You can use that, or like I said, I'm going to wind up door coating the uh, the lower and the upper to match, so I'm not too worried about that showing. All right, guys. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later.